Jangan lupa subscribe YouTube channel Metro TV News dan pastikan untuk menyalakan lonceng notifikasinya. Dan pemirsa bagaimana sebenarnya suasana atau kondisi terkini terkait konflik antara Rusia dan Ukraina? Kami akan berialt langsung dengan Duta Besar Rusia untuk Indonesia, Her Excellency the Ambassador of Russia, Lyudmila Vorobieva. Good evening, ma'am, Madam Ambassador. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me tonight. Thank you very much. As our time is very limited, ma'am, uh, let me ask you very directly about the current situation in the Ukraine. It's been over a month after the invasion. When is the invasion in the Ukraine will end? It will end, end as soon as we achieve the targets set out by our president. Mm -hmm. And it's not an invasion, it's a, spe a special military operation. And the targets have been clearly identified. Whether we, we will reach it by uh, peaceful talks, which mm -hmm. we're conducting or trying to conduct with Ukraine, or yeah. by military uh, operation, but we are quite sure that they will be achieved. And these targets are, first of all, to stop the war that has mm -hmm. been going on for mm -hmm. eight years in Donetsk and Lugansk, mm -hmm. protect the people of Lugansk and Donetsk, mm -hmm. uh, to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine, uh, and to be, uh, ensure that Ukraine mm -hmm. is neutral, at least or a friendly country that we don't feel uh, threatened by, and that is not used by the West as an anti-Russian instrument. Mm -hmm. You have mentioned about the history uh, in the past eight years in the Ukraine. Is that the really actual reason why there is a special uh, military forces in the Ukraine from Russia? Yes, abs absolutely. It's uh, one of the main reasons that we want to protect mm. these people. On the other hand, there is uh, information made public now that the Ukrainian side has been planning a massive mm -hmm. attack on Lugansk and Donetsk and mm. even probably on Crimea, which is a Russian yep. uh, territory now. So we are preventing a much bigger uh, conflict from mm. uh, happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can step aside the history uh, between the, con uh, the two countries, but the world's concentration now is on Bucha, where there were dozens of civili uh, civilians, people uh, killed. Some officials from Russia says it was fake. It's a, it, it's a total what fake. It's a total fake. It has been proved that uh, beyond any doubt, doubt. So far, no evidence has been produced mm. by Ukrainian or Western uh, side that this atrocities, and it's a tragedy. Mm. Of course, people have been killed in the most barbarous way. Uh, there has been no evidence or no proof that these atrocities have been uh, committed by uh, Russian uh, soldiers or uh, officers. Mm. And uh, moreover, uh, there's a lot of uh, questions uh, why, for instance, these bodies have been lying there for uh, several days. Where were the uh, relatives, the friends, why were they were not buried? Mm. Uh, also, uh, on the videos, you can clearly see that they, this mo most of the bodies have a white band on the yeah. sleeves. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. means, you know what the meaning of it? That mm -hmm. they were support, uh, supporting mm -hmm. Uh, Russian army. Hmm. So why would the uh, Russian hmm. armed forces kill people who were hmm. supporting them? Hmm. And I can tell you wherever the Russian troops come, they distribute humanitarian assistance. Hmm. They give uh, food and water and necessities to people, hmm. Ukrainian people there. So first we distribute humanitarian assistance, then kill the civilians? Right. No, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. So hmm. it's a uh, provocation staged mm -hmm. by uh, the Ukrainian side uh, and uh, very much supported by the West. And mm -hmm. the uh, aim of this provocation is also quite clear to disrupt the mm -hmm. peace talks, actually. Yeah, yeah. However, Your Excellency, uh, by the early of April, the UN says there are over a thousand civilians have been killed, including women and children. How do you respond? Uh, of course, they were casualties, but uh, uh, if there's a military operation, unfortunately, though uh, our goal uh, is uh, to harm uh, the less civilian we can. Mm. We are mm. sparing Ukrainians because we see them as our brothers and sisters. So uh, we are not targeting civilians, we're mm. targeting military installations in Ukraine, and we are trying to spare the civilian population. That's why we're 
opening humanitarian passages. That's why we're distributing food and uh, mm. water. Uh, we don't want Peter, people to suffer and to die. Mm. And also save the Russian people in Ukraine. Absolutely, uh, mm. in Donetsk and Lugansk. Donetsk and Lugansk. Donetsk and Lugansk, of mm. course, to mm. protect them because a war has been uh, launched against yep. these regions for eight years. 14,000 people died there. Mm. And uh, there was no hysterical reaction from the West. Mm. They were just turning a blind eye on what was happening in Lugansk and Donetsk. Every day people were uh, killed, mm. civilians were killed uh, under the bombs uh, of the Ukrainian armed forces. Mm. Mm -hmm. But as a consequence of this conflict, dozens of sanctions has been, have been imposed uh, to the Russia, including the new one that has been prepared by the United States and its allies. What do you think, ma'am? Well, we've learned our lessons that we shouldn't trust our Western partners. We should mm -hmm. rely on, ourself, uh, on ourselves. We need to concentrate on developing our, in, mm -hmm. our in industry and production. And uh, Russia has all the potential. Mm -hmm. we, have, we are very rich in natural resources. We uh, have a developed agricultural sector. We have a well-educated population. So. Uh, now we don't have any illusions about the uh, mm. so-called cooperation with our Western partners. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot trust them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, ma'am, the crisis in the Ukraine also has an impact to the annual meeting of the G20 in Bali in Indonesia in the next uh, November uh, this year, where there is a, a ban call mm -hmm. from many countries uh, for President Putin to not attend. The event. Well, don't say many. <laughs> it's just a group of the same countries, actually, mm. that are uh, dis uh, spreading these fakes and lies mm. and imposing sanctions. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not the whole world. Mm. And it's, these are not all, all uh, the members of G20. Mm -hmm. uh, from my Including own the Indone Indonesian government? Have you, have you received uh, from Indonesian gov uh, government? Uh, uh, our president has been officially invited to join mm. the G20 summit and he has uh, given a preliminary um, a response uh, that he intends to uh, participate in G20 summit. And from my po point of view, if other countries, uh, leaders uh, don't want to attend, that's on business mm. because uh, G20 is still will be very relevant. Yeah as uh, such big economies as uh, China, yep. India, right. Indonesia, right. Russia will attend, it still be very relevant. Right, my last question. So when will this conflict will end? The sooner the better, of course, mm. but as uh, I said, uh, as soon as we reach the targets uh, set out by our president. Thank you, ma'am. Ambassador, of Russia, Lyudmila Vorobieva. Your Excellency, thank you very much for coming to our studio this evening. Thank, thank you, you so much. Selamat malam. <laughs> ya, itu tadi perbincangan kami dengan Duta Besar Rusia untuk Indonesia, Lyudmila Vorobieva.